The Queen of Granada by M. Riff Chapter 11, The Hatch A sudden, sharp noise erupted from the ticket booth. To Rita, it seemed as if someone had pushed the hatch aside. Observing the Dutch girl, Rita commented, they're starting to sell tickets. The woman, unaware of the hatch opening, reached for her father's golden pocket watch hanging from his vest and opened it in front of him. I didn't expect that. We still have an hour before the bus leaves. They usually sell tickets right before departure. Simultaneously, a thick cloud of pipe smoke emerged from the hatch, reminiscent of a fire inside. Even from a distance, the smell of pipe tobacco bothered Rita's nose. She recalled how certain teachers at school emitted a similar smell, which she couldn't stand. She found it puzzling that other students didn't seem to notice it unless they were up close. Annoyed by the tobacco scent, Rita remarked, he must have opened the hatch to avoid suffocating in the smoke. The woman smiled and shared, you're just like my older brother. He's also got really sensitive senses. I can hardly smell tobacco. After a brief pause, Rita inquired, how did you become so fluent in Spanish? The woman replied with a grin, I actually grew up in Granada and attended school there. She glanced at her father and continued, the day after I finished school, my father fell ill. He woke up unable to move his right arm and leg, and he'd lost his ability to speak properly. We had to move back to the Netherlands as a result. Still, we've kept our apartment in Granada and use it as a vacation home. With a tinge of envy in her voice, Rita remarked, I wish I could speak Spanish as smoothly as you do. The woman's smile widened as she responded, In Spain, it's easy to connect with people. They are friendly, even if you only understand a little of what they say. And with your dark hair, I initially thought you were Spanish. You'll likely blend in effortlessly here. Thankfully, they didn't have to wait a whole hour. The line started moving, and they got their tickets. The Bentley arrived in Almuncar and stopped at the first intersection, waiting for the green light. Rita gazed at the avocado tree in the garden on the right and shared with Clara, this is where I first saw avocados. Even after so many years, this place seems entirely unchanged. Vito checked the rearview mirror, first at Rita and then at Clara, and asked, shall we head straight to Granada or take a short break at a beachside cafe? Rita glanced at Clara, gave a nod, and replied, I'm up for a break. Clara smiled through the mirror at Vito, saying, let's go to the beach. You've earned a break, especially for not speeding. Vito inquired, were you keeping an eye on the speedometer? Clara quipped, nope, I was more focused on that German tourist bus tailing us from Malaga. Before long, Vito parked the car close to the promenade and switched off the engine.